بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے ول اسٹارٹ الوحدت الرابعہ فورتھ لیسن الحیات الیومیہ ڈیلی لائف الحیا من لائف الیومیہ ڈیلی الحیات الیومیہ ڈیلی لائف الدرس الثامن و عشرون ٹوئنٹی ایتھ لیسن الحوال الاول فسٹ ڈائلاگ انظر وسط میں واحد لک اینڈ لسن اینڈ ریپیٹ تارک متا وین تستئی کز یو ویک اپ متا تستئی کز وین ڈو یو ویک اپ طاہر استئی کزو آئی ویک اپ ان دا ایٹ الفجر فجر استئی کزو ان دا الفجر آئی ویک اپ ایٹ فجر ٹائم طارق آئینہ تو سل الفجر ویئر ڈو یو پرے تو سلی یو پرے الفجر دا فجر ویئر ڈو یو پرے فجر طاہر اسلی آئی پرے الفجر دا فجر فی ان المسجد دا ماسک اسل الفجر فی المسجد آئی پرے دا فجر ان دا ماسک طارق حل تنامو بعد السلا حل دو تنامو یو سلیپ بعد آفٹر السلا دا پریئر دو یو سلیپ آفٹر دا سلا طاہر لا لا انامو بعد السلا سو وین ایور وی ایب حل ان دا قویسن وی مس یوز نام اور لا in the answer so here he is using this law for this thing so this law mean no and the second law mean not so first law is for hal and second law is for the negative sentence hal tana mubad the salah do you sleep after the salah no i don't sleep after the salah maza tafalu bad the salah maza what tafalu you do بعد آفٹر اصلا دب صلا وٹ ڈو یو ڈو آفٹر صلا اکرا آئی ریڈ القرآن دی قرآن اکرا القرآن آئی ریڈ دا قرآن و متا اینڈ ون اینڈ وین تز ہب یو گو ال المدرسہ ٹو دا اسکول اینڈ وین ڈو یو گو ٹو دا اسکول از ہب آئی گو اسات صابیہ ایٹ سیون او کلاک از ابو سعت صابی آئی گو ایٹ سیون او کلاک حل ڈو تز ابو یو گو بس سیارہ بائی دی کار حل تز ابو بس سیارہ ڈو یو گو بائی دی کار لا از ابو بالحافلہ نو آئی گو بائی دی باس سو ہی وی آر بریفلی انٹرڈیوشت اباوٹ فیل مزارے سو تا مین یو فار مسکولین تز ہبو یو گو از ہبو آئی گو سو سیکنڈ پرسن اینڈ فرسٹ پرسن دین یو ہیو دا وکیبلری یو وی رائٹ دا میننگ آف دس وکیبلری ہیئر اینڈ اپلوڈ اٹ ٹو گوگل کلاس روم دین یو وی رائٹ شارٹ آنسرز ٹو دیز کوشچنز ہیئر اکارڈنگ ٹو دا لیسن دین ایٹ دا اینڈ وی ہیو تھری کوشچنز You will answer these three questions according to yourself. And if you are a female student, then you need to change this question as well. For example, Tas Tai Kizu is for male. So you will write here, Tas Tai Ki Zina. In this way, you will first change the question. And then Tas Tai, I have written the long spelling. Tas تئی کیزی نا لائک دس تس تئی کیزی نا سو ان دس وی یو ویل فرس میک اٹ فیمین اینڈ دین یو ویل رائٹ دا آنسرس سملرلی تو سلی نا فار فیمیل وی سے تو سلی نا سو یو رائٹ تو سلی نا ہیئر فار فیمیل یو رائٹ تف علی نا 
so female students will first change the question and then they will answer it according to their self their daily routine al hiwar usani second dialogue unzur wastame wide look and listen and repeat al um the mother haza yawm al utla this is the day of holiday al ab haza yawm al amal this is a working day basically he means that today we will not sit idle we will do the house chores maza sataf alu ya tarik what will you do o tarik tarik saaknusu ghurfat al julus saaknusu i will sweep ghurfat al julus living room i will sweep the living room wa maza and what sataf alina will you do ya fatima o fatima maza sataf alina ya fatima and what will you do o fatima saaknusu i will sweep ghurfat al nawm bedroom note one thing here to mail we say taf alu sa is a separate thing sa mean will and taf alu mean you do so to mail we say taf alu but to female we say taf alina remember this difference between male and female and sa is a separate thing which mean will and the for the first person male also say aknusu and female also say aknusu for the first person it is same but for second person it is different wa maza sataf alu ya ahmad and what will you do o ahmad sa aghsilu al malabis i will wash the clothes wa maza sataf alina ya latifa and what will you do o latifa sa aghsilu malabis I will iron the clothes. Ana sa aghsilu latbaq. I will wash the plates. Wa ana sa aqra'u al-Qur'an and I will read the Qur'an. Then you have the vocabulary you will write the meanings here then you will answer these questions according to the lesson. Al-Hiwar al-Salis third dialogue unzur wast me waid mata tastaykizu yawm al utla mata when tastaykizu you wake up yawm al utla on holiday mata tastaykizu yawm al utla when do you wake up on holiday astaykizu mubakkiran i wake up early wa mata tastaykizu anta and when do you wake up astaykizu mutaakhiran i wake up late maza taf'alu fi as-sabah what do you do in the morning ushahidu tilfaz i watch television wa maza taf'alu anta and what do you do faisal aqra'u sahifatan aw kitaban I read a newspaper or a book. Aina tu sallil juma. Where do you pray the juma? U sallil jumata fil masjid al kabir. I pray the juma in the big masjid. Wa aina tu salli ant. And where do you pray? U salli fil masjid al kabir ainan. I also aidan mean also pray in the big masjid then you have vocabulary you will write their meanings here then you will answer these question dikhtisar mean in brief in short you will write brief answers to these questions according to the lesson then he is asking you to join the two pictures which have some connection between them so you see we have joined two verbs you will join kitab with sahifa hafila with sayyara in this way you will join them then he is asking you to join the word with the appropriate picture so he will join the picture with their names their names are written here you will join them by drawing lines then we have additional vocabulary al awwal mean first masculine 
Asani second masculine, Asalis third masculine, Arabi fourth masculine, Al Khamis fifth masculine. These are known as Al Edadu Tartibia. In English, they are known as ordinal numbers. O R D I N A L. Ratibil Adad arrange the numbers. So you will arrange them and write them here. Then Silbain al Adadi o Tartibihi join the number with its position. So basically, you will join with ordinal numbers. Ikrail Adad Tartibia read the ordinal numbers. Asalis. Al Khamis, Al Wahid, or Al Awul, Al Awul, Al Rabi, Al Sani. Silbain al Adadi was Surat al Munasiba. Join the number with appropriate picture. So these are written here. You will join them. Here you see the fourth position is mentioned. In this picture, the fourth position is highlighted. So you will join it with Al Rabi. Here, first position is highlighted. So you will join it with Al Awul. Attarakibun Nahviya grammatical structures at the three below first exercise Tabadalis Suala Wal Juwaba Mazamilika Kama Fil Misal. Exchange the question and answer with your colleague, like in the example Al Misal at Talibulawul Mata Tazhabu Al Madrasa. When do you go to the school? Azhabu Saata Sabiya. I go at seven o'clock. So you see. Tazhabu mean you go for masculine only. Azhabu I go. Then ila is a harfijar. So you know that harfijar makes the isam majroor. That's why we are using kasra with madrasa. So because of this harfijar, al madrasa is majroor. Now you see azhabu is a fail. Azhabu is a verb. And the action of this verb is done on this. So that's why it become mansub object or maful bihi is always mansub so these are the object of azhabu these are the maful bihi of azhabu now you will make a similar first thing you need to do that you will hide the example so you can write the translation of the example with you and then you will do it without looking at the Arabic of this example. So we have two questions. When do you go to somewhere? And then he will answer, I go at that time. So the first question, when do you go to the house? Mata tazhabu ilal bayit. He will answer, azhabu asa azhabu saat al wahida. When do you go to the doctor? Mata tazhabu ilal tabib. Azhabu saat al saniya. Mata tazhabu ilal masjid. Azhabu saat al salisa. So you will do it without looking at the example. Atadribu sani tabada lisuala wal jawaba ma zamilik. Kama fil misal. Exchange the question and answer with your colleague like in the example. So again, Yusalli mean he prays. Yusalli mean he prays. Yusalli al fajr. He prays the Fajr, Al Masjid, the mosque. But you will ask to the second person. So you will say, Where do you pray Fajr? So you will say, Aina to Salil Fajr. Where do you pray Fajr? He will answer, Usalil Fajr of Al Masjid. I pray in the Fajr in the mosque. So you Salli, he prays. To Salli, you pray. Usalli, I pray. Remember the difference. So basically, we will ask someone, where do you do something? And he will tell, I do that thing in that place. So you will again hide the example. This time, you will ask him, where do you read the Quran? Aina takra ul Quran. Takra ul Quran. He will say, akra ul Quran fil musalla. I read the Quran in the musalla. Musalla means the room where we pray in the Salah or you can also use it for the mat on which we pray the Salah. Yusha Hindu Tilfaz, he watches, he is watching the television. So you say, Aina Tusha Hindu Tilfaz, where do you pray that 
Where do you watch the TV? He will say, Usha Hindu Tilvaza Filorfa. I watch the TV in the room. Aina Tatawadda. Where do you make wudu? Atawadda o Filhamma. I make wudu in the bathroom. In this way, you will do it without looking at the example. So, if you forget the sentences, you can just write the translation of the sentence without Arabic. This will help you in making the Arabic for next sentences. Maza alu, what are you doing? Akraul Quran, I am reading Quran. So again, Yakro, he is reading. Tafalu, you are doing. Akraul, I am reading. Maza tafalina, what are you doing? Akraul Quran, I am reading Quran. So Takraw, she is reading. Tafalina, you are doing. Akraul, I am reading. So you see. Takrahu has two meaning. First meaning is she is reading. She is reading. And the second meaning is you for masculine only. You are reading. So Takrahu has two meanings. Okay. So in this picture we have female, so we will only use the second meaning. Maza tafalina. Or you can also say Maza Takraina. What are you reading? Now we have a male in the picture, so we will say Maza Taknusu or Maza Tafalu. Maza Tafalu, what are you doing? Maza Taknusu, what are you sweeping? He will answer Aknusul Urfa, I am sweeping the room. Tushahidu means she is watching. So you will say Maza Tafalina, what are you doing? Or you can also say Maza Tushahidina. Maza Tafalina will be better. So she will reply Ushahidut Tilfaz. Maza Tak Maza Tafalu, what are you doing? Akrao Sahifa, I am reading the newspaper. In this way you will do it without looking at the example. Now we have the particle sa. Sa is for future only, nothing else. Yakunusu mean he is sweeping. Sa Yakunusu he will sweep. Taknusu, you are sweeping. Sa taknusu, you will sweep. Aknusu, I am sweeping. Sa aknusu, I will sweep. Maza sa taknusu, what will you sweep? Or what will you clean? Sa aknusu, urfat al julus, I will sweep the living room. Again, you will ask the question for future. Maza sa taqsilu, what will you wash? He will say sa aqsilul malabis, I will wash the clothes. Maza sa taqwi, what will you iron? Sa aqwil malabis, I will iron the clothes. Maza sa tusalli, what will you pray? Sa usallil fajr, I will pray the fajr. Now we have the summary of all what we have read in this chapter so far akraul quran i am reading quran aknusul Urfa. in this way you can just revise it <coughs> next we have this but i think i need to upload the video for it okay so next time we have this lesson and inshallah we will continue this lesson next time if you don't understand anything any question feel free to ask me on my this whatsapp number okay i will answer you in detail inshallah you can also ask me in the comments i will answer them inshallah one by one and for the homework you need to go to google classroom so you will open google classroom here once it is opened, you can go to Al Arbiyatu Baina Yadik or you can click on this to do icon. Then you will go to homework number 8 of Al Arbiyatu Baina Yadik. So, where is homework number 8? Here it is. You will click on it. I think no, it is sorry, it is homework number 9 so you will go to homework number nine so whatever is written here you can ignore it and you will just upload your homework here using one of these options you have many options you can use any option i have no issue 
so you will use any of these options and then you will submit your homework here see you next time ma salama